Accessory dwelling units, or we call them ADUs now, are smaller units you can build on your property, like behind your house, uh, attached to your house, in your basement, for example, um, to provide another dwelling unit or place for folks to live. It's a dwelling unit because it would have its own bathroom and kitchen and be not be dependent on the main house. So you can rent it, you know, so you can have a, your college kid live there. You can have, you know, your in-laws live there. You could rent it out. I think a lot of times in the, um, colloquially they're called granny flats or mother-in-law units, right? Um, but we call them AD ADUs. The city's allowed them now for about four years. We went through a project to create regulations to allow it to open up more housing types. Um, and generally, they're pretty permissive in the zoning. You know, you don't have to live in either the unit as the homeowner. You can make them pretty tall, taller than you could a sh like a shop or a shed, for example, to make sure that there's enough height for you know people to clear their head, whatnot. But they do have to be um, fairly small, 900 square feet's the maximum. And again, it's supposed to be smaller than the main house. The City Council has waived some fees that would normally apply, we call system development charges, um, which is a pretty substantial cost savings. It's a temporary waiver through 2024, um, and they did that in hopes of encouraging more folks to build these units because they see them as an asset to our housing supply. If you're interested in doing ADU, a planner can help you understand where you can do it on your property, the size limitations, etc. The process for, for getting ADU is a, is a building permit process. It doesn't go out to notice to your neighbors. If you're meeting all the standards, obviously if you wanted to exceed the height or the setback, then that, that would be different. Um, and you, you, know, you would submit a building permit, much like you would just to build a new house and then the planning, building and safety, fire, public works would all review it, make sure you meet all the criteria for this new dwelling unit um, and issue your permit. We allow ADUs in any zone where we allow single family. And so um, that is our single family zone, but we have some other zones that we allow single family houses, um, our low density multifamily, some of our industrial zones and commercial zones, you can still have a single family dwelling. And so um, we want it to be a, as broad as possible because we wanted to make sure if somebody does have a house that they're living in or renting out or whatever, even if it's maybe zoned for a different use in the future.